Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing today? Welcome to Cash Sports. I'm glad to be back with you guys here today on another episode of Cash Sports Podcast. Uh, today, I got a special topic for you guys, right? So today, we're going to be talking about some college football. You know, there were some things going down. Uh, the regular college football season uh, just finished, right? Uh, and there were some awards that, that were given out. Uh, obviously, there's some college football playoffs coming up. Uh, the, the college football polls just finalized so now we know how these college football playoffs are going to be looking we know the best teams we know who the best teams are we know who's going to be in the playoffs and things of that nature uh but we do know in 2024 2025 college football is going to have right they're going to extend the college football playoffs so stay tuned for that i am going to have a topic on that i am going to talk about that because that is exciting and it's definitely something we got to look towards uh the future but as of right now i'm going to be talking about some college football winners college football award winners right uh we know that the heisman trophy is going to be uh selected here pretty soon um but we can still talk about it we can still talk about the awards that were already given and that's exactly what i am going to do right uh before we get into that please like and subscribe to capture Please like and subscribe to Cash Ports Podcast. I would graciously appreciate it. And also hit that notification button so whenever uh, I drop a video or I go live, I preferably like to go live. But if not, I still would like to drop a recorded video just so you guys can hear my voice and hear me talk about some bullshit, right? Uh, so let's get into it, right? Uh, so the first player that I do want to talk about, obviously, is the Heisman Trophy favorite. Khalid Williams <laughs> of USC. So let me make sure you guys can see that. Uh, just because I'm recording doesn't mean, um, you know, I, I, I try to make it as best as possible, best as possible for you guys to see what I'm looking at uh, as it pertains to where I'm getting my sources, where I'm getting my information, and things of that nature. Because I don't want to, I don't want to be giving you guys any bullshit, no BS. I don't want to fucking, you know. Just say whatever that just comes out of my mind. I like to be unbiased as possible. But let's talk about Khalid Williams. Khalid Williams has been uh, no less the best quarterback uh, in college football. Uh, for most of the season, I think it was pretty evened out. I mean, I feel like um, between CJ Stroud, uh, Hendon Hooker, and Khalid Williams, for the most part, it was neck and neck. Up until the point... Uh, in the later part of the season when things just start to crumble uh, for certain quarterbacks and certain teams uh, via C.J. Stroud. Now, USC and Khalid Williams did lose against Utah, so um, I know that probably took a slight hit for his Heisman Trophy running, you know, considering the fact that Michigan is a better team than Utah, and but, you know, C.J. Stroud did have a somewhat of a poor performance against Michigan, uh, Michigan University in that rivalry game. But Khalid Williams has been just balling out. I mean, we just got to call it like it is. You know, Khalid Williams has been doing his thing. He is by far the best quarterback coming out of this draft, right? Uh, Khalid Williams uh, won the, two, the 2022 Maxwell Award on Thursday, which is given to the best college football player in the country, right? So it is distinct is distinctively different from the Heisman Trophy, but the Maxwell Award is really up there. It is one of the best awards that you could receive as a college football player if you're not winning the Heisman. Like anybody can necessarily win it, right? Um, but Khalid Williams, I think he's tied with C.J. Stroud for the most passing touchdowns in the country. But he's just been balling out this entire year. Right. So we're going to see how, you know, he finishes up his career. You know, we're going to see how things uh, end up for Khalid Williams in these bowl games if he plays these bowl games. Um, but none other. Uh, I, I see Khalid Williams winning the Heisman Trophy. You know, I'm saying it here first on cash boards. I don't really think I'm the first one to necessarily say it, but I'm just going to be part of the bandwagon. Khalid Williams is going to win Heisman Trophy. And there's not there's nothing much more to say about that right uh so let's switch let's switch the topic here a little bit 
uh, switch it to a different player. Uh, the page is going to look slightly different, but I'm going to just tap into that. So another play that is in the Heisman Trophy running is C.J. Stroud, the quarterback for the Ohio State Buckeyes. I mean, C.J. Stroud is my guy. I mess with C.J. Stroud. He is a wonderful, wonderful player and one of the top QB prospects coming into this year's draft throwing for 3300 yards 37 touchdowns which is tied with Khalid Williams uh has two more interceptions but he does have a, a better QBR rating with 176.2 so CJ Stroud for for the better part of the year has really been doing his thing he's been balling out as a quarterback like I've said like I've stated earlier uh it's really that Michigan State Michigan State it's really that Michigan University game where uh his Heisman Trophy uh, running really took a toll I mean but who can blame them uh, but at the end of the day it, Michigan is a very big game even if you were to lose that game you can't play the way that you did so that is really the key component in all this and why uh, he would take a, a fall uh, in the Heisman Trophy voting but we're gonna have to see because the voting is today it is Saturday on my time so as you're watching this yes I'm recording this on a Saturday so we will see who will win this award? But like I said, I I have Khalid Williams winning this award hands down, and big part of the reason is just you know C.J. Stroud against that Michigan game. That you know that, that it is what it is. You know it is what it is, man. Uh, but let's even tap into the Heisman Trophy finalists. So just because I'm just not saying names, at least you guys can know for sure who's actually in. Um, or who actually is a finalist for the 2022 Heisman Trophy uh, award. So let's tap into it. So we already stated Khalid Williams uh, is the leading uh, candidate for the Heisman Trophy. Then you got C.J. Stroud, C.J. Stroud, Ma Max Duggan, uh, Stetson, ben uh, and Stet Stetson Bennett. Woo! <laughs> I hope I said that right, though. Uh, let's so let's tap into a couple things before we can uh we can go any further all right so stetson bennett uh let's tap into to his case so we can have a little bit of insight on what he's been doing so is is bennett getting rewarded for being the face of georgia's team and also his remarkable story so there should be no doubt bennett has been steadily uh, been a steady force for an offense that has been great when it needed it this year in five games against ranked teams Georgia has averaged 44 points with Bennett accounting for 17 touchdowns in those five games Bennett's overall numbers are also tamped down by Georgia being so dominant he has 3100 yards passing in the first three quarters of games this year and only 321 combined in all fourth quarters his overall touchdown numbers 20 passing touchdowns seven running could also be better except for an, an unusual amount of passes stopped inside the five yard line seven of his completions saw the receiver tackled at one or two yard line his scrambling ability has also been key to georgia's offense which ranks seven nationally in yards per play distractors will claim it's the off is georgia's defense that's the real reason the team has been so good those who have watched this team all season know better that it is truly good on both sides of the ball and Bennett is the face of the team because he deserved to be right Woo. Uh, so it's a very compelling argument it's a very good argument I, I think it's just a good enough argument to put him uh, as a finalist but not enough to put him as the Heisman Trophy winner I mean let me guys uh let me know in the in the comment section I definitely want to know but that wasn't a case for me to say uh, he has a better argument than Khalid Williams because Khalid Williams has been balling. So. Uh, and now here's a case for Max Duggan. So TCU is not the college football player without Duggan. He ranked in the top 10 nationally in pass rating in yards per attempt and had 30 touchdown passes with just four interceptions. When the Horn Frogs trailed in games against Oklahoma State, Kansas State, Texas Tech, and Baylor, Duggan's poise and production rallied them back for victories. His toughness proved crucial. He rarely missed a snap despite hits piling up late in the season in TCU's lone loss in the Big 12 championship to Kansas State. Duggan's gutsy fourth quarter performance helped erase an 11 point second half deficit and force overtime. Hmm. Yeah, so I am familiar with the TCU schedule. We know it's been going down with TCU. You know, they've been coming up, they've been coming back. They've been finding ways to win. They've been coming back in numerous games. But here's the thing. Um, late in that season against Kansas State, it was it was a, a a loss that did hit them pretty hard. I mean, I think 
because of that, they're not they're really not going to be able to make the playoffs. They really needed that win to put them, uh, to officially put them in that final four. You know, but but despite that, Max Duggan has been playing well as the quarterback for this team. It's been great watching him play. It's been great watching TCU really ball, to be honest with you. But bottom line is, you know, I just don't think it's enough to put him in the Heisman Trophy running, right? Uh, so last case here, let's talk about C.J. Stroud, even though we talked about him. Uh, but let's see what they got to say. So this is Stroud's second year as the Heisman finalist, something only two other Ohio State players have done. Archie Griffin and Howard Cassidy. Stroud's case comes down to his numbers, and he spent the season being the most efficient quarterback in the country. He leads the country with quarterback rating with 176.25 and is tied with USC's Khalid Williams for nation's leading 37 touchdowns. He's completed 66% of his passes while also averaging 9.4 yards per attempt. A mark that is third nationally. Stroud has also led Ohio State back to the college football playoffs and you know and with an 11 in one season right Oof. so it, it, it it's 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 a tight running it is tight you know there's definitely a bunch of things that you can uh that you can factor in when it comes to uh this heisman trophy situation i mean you can bring in a numerous you can bring in numerous amount of arguments components you know th there's a bunch of things that you can put in there to give these guys a compelling argument to say that they deserve the heisman trophy now for me i go on a week to week basis uh i do sum up you know the entire season but for the most part you know these things awards like this are really neck and neck it's really hard uh, to distinguish who truly deserves the Heisman Trophy, right? Because these guys can be these guys can be playing good, great all year. Like for example, with CJ Stroud, the Ohio State Buckers have been playing exceptionally well, but they lost to such a great team, and it's sad to say how this can affect CJ Stroud's um, chances to win the Heisman Trophy. I mean, even though I talk up Khalid Williams, you could say the same thing about. Uh, Khalid Williams, and, and you know, in his case, I mean, he lost to Utah, right? He's been playing well the entire season. We got to look at this and really acknowledge how is this going to go down, you know, because I think it's really between the two, between Khalid Williams and CJ Stroud on who's going to win the Heisman Trophy. But like I said, I got my money on Khalid Williams. So before I head out here, you know what? Let me give you guys uh, the rest of the award winners in college football. And then we're going to wrap this up. And then we get on tap out of here, right? So let me bring this up for you guys. All right, guys. So here are some of the winners. Uh, or here's a full list of the NCAA Football Award winners, right? So Will Anderson, the defensive tackle uh, for the Alabama Crimson Tide. I mean, this was no surprise neither. Uh, Will Anderson has already been coined um, the best defensive lineman in college football there's without a doubt that he's probably going to be uh the first defensive lineman taken in this year's draft All right uh and next is the i'm not even going to try to sell it i'm not even going to try to say this man but jalen hyatt uh won the most outstanding receiver award right uh honestly for me this was this wasn't a surprise neither i mean jalen hyatt was balling this year uh even though hendon hooker the quarterback for the uh for tennessee uh did tear his acl which is very 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 unfortunate right but things happen but despite that you know uh hyatt has been balling this year got to give props to him uh christopher dunn of nc state uh won the award for outstanding kicker um adam korosak uh from Rutgers won the award for best punter uh, and you guys know Khalid Williams won the Maxwell Award for Player of the Year. Uh, the Davey O'Brien Trophy for the National Quarterback Award for Best Quarterback goes to Mike Duggan. Right, We talked about him uh, earlier. Uh, and most interior, most outstanding interior lineman, uh, Ul Luskan Ul Ulwatimi. <laughs> I hope I said that right. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, you got to give it to the announcers for being able to just say these names off bat, you know. Uh, best defensive back goes to Travis Hodges Tomlinson, right? TCU doing his thing. And premier running back, uh, Bijan Robinson. I hope I said that right. <laughs> uh, hey, you guys can curse me out in the comment sections if I'm, if I'm saying these names wrong. 
right uh but yeah man so those are the awards for the players that won anything uh in this year's college football season uh and you guys heard my opinion you you, you saw how i tapped in uh into the college football playoffs a little bit into the awards i talked about the finals here in a bit or oh, i talked about the finalists uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video, right? So please, once again, guys, like and subscribe to Cash Sports. I would graciously appreciate it. Uh, and also hit that bell, that notification button. So whenever I get videos, whenever I drop videos, whenever I live stream, you guys can tap in. You guys can tune in whenever you want, right? Remember, drop that like. Right there it is. It's free. It's free, y'all, right? So thank you guys again for tuning into Cash Sports. I graciously appreciate it. And we'll tap in next time. Thank you and have a good day.